I'm streaming now. So I'm going to have to go up. Right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'll do. Issue is you want to make things like... Well, I, I need to make things... Um, uniform. Which, uh... Like lining up your visual lines? Yes. But it has curvature of the Earth. So, depending on the direction you're going and where you're at on the planet, you may not get a straight line. That is what I call a problem. I need to get this one over here and this one from here. Right? I don't know, man. Okay, so this one is going to go over here. Whoops. Over here. Like so. Oh shit, actually that might work. Not if I do it all. This. I can come boom. Up. Boom. Down. Hey, I think that works. Storage. Oh my god, you can stack things forever. Holy fuck. Seven stories tall of storage here. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna find out here in about two minutes that I fucked up the math, and this is all... It'll work. But like, not, not efficiently. So I'm excited about this here. They start you on like an Earth-like planet at least. Now I have a shit load of oil. A shit load of oil coming in, and it's only making sulfuric acid and hydrogen. Or not sulfuric acid, refined oil, my bad. Oh my god, I forgot to put those down. I'm so stupid. I mean, good luck saturating this oil, my man. Ain't gonna happen. There's one complaint I have with it, is it's how, like, how fucking finicky it is with power. It's like down to a micro pixel, so if you, if you're trying to, like, place stuff to, to be effective, it's just such a pain in the ass sometimes. Alright, refined oil inbound. 
Somehow, though, I'm still not. I'm not saturating. Whatever. It's something, anyway. Alright, F. What was I trying to make? Magnetic ring, that's right. I do, I do, I do. I don't know if this is going to be a smart idea or not. Once you get far enough into it, you can unlock uh, drones that can haul stuff for you. And I have finally reached that point. I got myself some of those. I'll find my magnets. Have you guys uh, hired anybody yet? Um, <clears throat> two contractors uh, accepted an offer and it was approved by whoever approves it. I don't know when the start date would be, but Probably pretty soon. So you guys, are you hiring contractor on, or are you like what? Are you hiring a contractor to full time, or are you hiring a contractor? <clears throat> no, it's going from nobody to a new stranger. Okay. Pretty sure. Uh, a month <clears throat> outed himself as a double agent today a double agent yeah that was weird <clears throat> like it's it seemed like he really hasn't been doing much and like jamie's been kind of had the the guns pointed at him i guess for the like you should you sure you're not sure you got something to work on blah 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 like as if he's sandbagging, and uh, we we um, have a rotating facilitator for the stand-up meetings, and 
this week he's doing it and uh so he was he was doing it or whatever and then we got off on a long tangent on something that i was explaining about something that's going on and then uh he unmuted and it was just like it was something like yeah, I've, I've still got those three stories going and I'm almost done, but I just have to check in with the something like just like totally talking to some other group about work. that was, And it, it was just like the same tone of voice he has with us of like, you know, it's not like it's not like, uh, you know, he's his roommate is sitting beside him and his roommate asked him a question about something he's working on. You know, it totally sounded like, oh, you are you literally working for for a different job right now as you're running this meeting for us because that's sure what it seemed like so that was really weird hmm. is there follow-up to that like is there going to be i i don't know but he's already been on thin ice and like jade even like i, I talked to him this to talk to jade this morning before that happened um you know, and, and that came up and he's like, yeah, I mean, he, I think he's, his contract is up in December. So I think, I think we just ride it out and, you know, part ways and just have to deal with it until then. Cause that's going to be easier than getting rid of him. I don't know if that moved the needle at all on that standpoint, but it's very interesting. Hmm. Huh. It's like, yeah, I guess you totally could do that. And who would know? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. It's true. I never really thought about that. But I guess I remember reading that some people, um, have seen people do that so i suppose i wanted to cross going up though oh yeah 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 i can tab tab holy shit did that one actually line up oh my god i actually put down a splitter which like just takes one conveyor belt and makes it go in four directions. I guess one in and three out, or you know, two in, two out, whatever. It's just a just four things, but you can like adjust what it does in terms of levels. Levels, Jerry. Levels. That was a good episode. That was a good episode. Because he didn't do it, and then he's likely talking about... The, the the bet was that you wouldn't do it, and he's like, but I didn't. I decided not to do it. Like, that's different. It's like, no, it's not. Hell to the fuck yeah. I got magnets coming out my ass now. Actually, I don't. I'm about to. Where did I it's put only temporary it? anyway. Where did I put my foundation? Over here. Oh, am I putting? I think I'm putting stone bricks into one of these fuckers. Oh shit. I might. I might be able to fix this issue that I have going. Which is, uh, I'm no longer making foundation that's a problem okay
I need to, I can't stop playing this game and I, I have to. Why is this such a little bastard? Fuck. Fuck. You little fucking asshole. The curvature of the Earth can sometimes be quite a pain in the ass. In this fucking stupid game. Oh, sure. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I don't even know how to describe what's going on in this thing right now. I don't even know what you're doing, so I guess I'm the same way. I am trying to uh, expand my... I'm trying to expand my magnet factory. <clears throat> Lack of item? Lack of what item? What item am I lacking? Oh shit, that's what. Damn it. Has anybody been watching anything good lately? No, Westworld's over. How many episodes were there? Uh, eight? I think. Is that like a did, typical... Did they go one at a time, or did they all go at the same time? It was a weekly installment. <laughs> so, it's fair game now. Was it good? People criticized the finale. It was set up in such a way that should it not get renewed for a fifth season, it's ended, kind of. But it could have a fifth season. I, I didn't think it was bad overall. Like, I mean, overall, the season itself was good. The finale was kind of... Mm, but... I didn't hate it. Was uh, the main the main girl still in it? I heard rumor that she wasn't going to be. Uh, I mean, all the main cast was back. Who's what's that actress's name? The main one, the blonde one. Uh, I forget. What, does her girl name come first or the boy name? Rachel Evan Wood, oh, Evan Rachel yeah, Wood. Yeah. Evan Rachel yeah. Wood, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I love her. I mean, she was not really a starring role in this season. It was kind of an adjunct character, but... Um, I mean, it was good to see her, I guess. Like, her role was definitely diminished compared to, you know, being an evil mastermind for all of season three, but... Uh, yeah, no, I, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. If they bring it back for a fifth season, that would be cool. I'm not sure where they would go with it, but was the fourth um, season set in the real world? It is. Or 
But so if you can't seems... tell the difference, does it really matter? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, generally speaking, it was it was mostly real world. Was there any West World? Like old Westy stuff, or was that all gone? Uh, it, no, it's pretty much gone. The the Westy stuff. Yeah, the old Saloony. Like well, the, old, the first the first yeah. two seasons basically took place in the theme the park. So yes, the Wild was, West themed park. It was old timey. But then, uh, and shit started to really get fucked up, and you got to see other timelines. I would say that if you did not care for season three, then you should give season four a chance. I, I, of the three, I definitely cared for season three the least. Correct. What was up with season three? Is it just. It was, I mean, obviously the totally was different. Just, different. Yeah, it was just a, a tone shift, a general kind of idea shift. Um, Felt like a different show with the yeah, same, it was yeah, absolutely it was, actors. Yeah, it was it was the third season of a show that never existed. Yeah, it's like we got we <laughs> got the same actors to play characters with the same name. In a totally different setup, and everything's different, but here's a story about them. Yeah, it's it was like, kind oh, of like a okay. almost like an anthology season. Mm-hmm. What we didn't know was an anthology, <laughs> yep. and it hadn't been prior to that, so it was a little disconcerting. Um, but yeah, I, I think they, I think they resolved a lot of those fan loyalty issues. But I don't know; it sounded like a mixed bag sort of came back for season four. So I don't know. Like as far as ratings, if it's going to come back, especially now with all this weird fuckery that Warner discovery thing is doing. So what's that? Like the main one I heard is we're going to shut down HBO max mm-hmm. and we're going to just roll it all into discovery plus. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, that is probably the worst idea you could possibly come up with. Let's, it, Eliminate that HBO branding and uh, yeah. name recognition in favor of family discovery and, you know, shit that's not HBO. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Really, uh, really weird decision, I think. Yep, I think HBO uh, is basically on its down swing. Because someone's like, wow, you can make money off this? Cool, let's just... Uh, We're going to shut this branch down or sell yeah, it off. Let's just, let's just suck money out of this until uh, nobody wants it anymore, and then we'll sell it off for parts. That's how everything works now. I mean, but this was kind of bizarre. I mean, that, was, that was definitely a crown jewel in whatever they purchased, so it's like, well... Oh, yeah. Arguably the... I mean, you're... Fucking, did you pay for the name? Absolutely paid for the name. But that name has a hell of a lot of clout in the industry. I mean, my God. Name the name the stuff on, on HBO that people are like, wow, that was that was the worst thing I've ever seen, aside from parts of Games of Thrones. But otherwise, it's like yeah, Games of Thrones, uh, Sopranos, Oz, all these other shows that are like these huge hits. Yeah, and they have a very high bar for quality. I mean, they can't be, nobody's yeah, perfect, Rome, right? I mean, like, Rome was amazing. So, that's such bullshit that they did that. Yes, it is. I hope nothing changes, but I just, I worry that it's going to be too tempting, you know? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I just, I don't know. Hearing that they're going to shut off HBO Max already, it just kind of, I don't know, that, that one alone was kind of like, wow, that's a really bizarre move. Also, yep. it makes me question yep. how long I'm actually going to keep my subscription because 
it came with my uh, it comes with my phone plan, and I don't know if that's going to continue once they start fucking oh. around and. Yeah, probably not. Because that it, was it's like not, it's not AT and T anymore. Yeah, like it was it was it was rolled in under their Direct TV brand. Um, that's who it shows on my phone as TV provider, but. I doubt they're going to. I'll that. just have to go full. Well, I'll just have to go full bore, and I mean, I already download on all anyway. I don't like their interface, but for good shows that I like, I will watch it at least once through the app so that uh, it gets counted. What is happening? Of course, Westworld is so weird that I have to watch every episode like three times before I'm pretty sure I get it, so I can move on to the next week anyway. So. Then it's not so bad because I can watch it a couple times in Plex and then once in HBO and then good to go. We're almost through Shit's Creek, about halfway through the sixth season. Nice. They're nice. Planning the could... wedding. Okay. It's a great show. I wish I could watch that show over again the first time. I mean, I've seen the shit out of it, but, like, just seeing it for the first time. We could all rain blows on your head, and then perhaps. I mean, I'm open to it, honestly. I would say it couldn't hurt, but, I mean, it will hurt. Oh, it'll definitely Also, might, might reset your progress in your game. If you could start over, that'd be nice. That's true. Okay, you're pretty excited about that. That's... So that'll, that'll, that'll all be fresh and new. That... I don't want to do. That's my thing with those games. It's like it. Sometimes it'll become a, a real slog at some point for a while, and you're just like, "Oh god, it's so boring. I just want to start over." I was like, "Yeah, but I already put like 200 hours into this map, and fuck, that's a lot of effort to, have to redo. So I'm not going to do that either." So it's like really just kind of fuck either way. I mean, I will restart this, but not until after I get much further than I am because. And this is like one of those games you have to play to understand how it how to set stuff up. Yeah, well, see, I like when I when I started it, like they were the, the developers were still semi enthusiastic about it, um, and so they like it was just released, and then they immediately shit out some major updates. So then after a while, I'm like, well, in order to take advantage of some of these things, I have to restart anyway. So then I did, and then they swore they were probably not going to have to have that requirement again. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'll just start a new map. But then their updates slowed, and I kind of got bored with what it, what was available. Um, and then they haven't released a lot as far as content. They made it so you can edit that Mac and make the color different. I'm like, that's cool, I guess, but I don't give a rat's ass about that. Give me more things to do. Places to go, accomplishments to get. Because once I get to the end of the tech tree, I get really get bored. Because then it's just you know, more spheres, keep growing, blah blah blah. I was playing uh, Far Cry Six and ran across a very unexpected mission. <clears throat> it's like you're just going around this. Uh, Latin American <coughs> country made up that's under rule by Giancarlo Esposito as tends to happen and uh, it's like oh there's a, a Russian lady on this radio so you like go listen to the radio and they're like oh uh, come to the bunker I'm in the bunker save me okay go to the bunker and then it's Stranger Things like the Stranger Things music starts playing and like the title screen comes like the red slow like with the words or whatever and then it's like but it was like Far Cry the Vanishing you know it's like okay and then chapter one like the bunker and then you like go in and you're you're in this in the Russian bunker and uh, like there's dudes a few dudes to kill but you're like getting the 
information about what's going on. And then at the end, there's the gun, like the laser the shooting at the wall, you know, and then you have to go th- through the wall and then you're in the upside down. And then like you have to go find that th- and you come across uh, a nice house with a pool at some point. And it's like it was that was very odd. It's, it's interesting, but I, I was, was not at all expecting that. That is weird. The developers probably weren't either until Netflix was like, hey, if we give you a bunch of money, would you put in like a, you know, a bonus level or something mm-hmm. like that tie in? That's. Uh... Yeah. And you're you're uh, one of your when your AI co-op and well, I guess, computer buddies that you can pick from is this little dog, little beagle who is a paraplegic. He's got a little cart that with the two wheels and guns mounted to it and like wrenches and stuff and like a tool belt on it. And the, the, the storyline is that he was captured and the Russian lady was trying to help you get him back. And uh, she is basically like an 11 character. She had a, she had a, she was number six, um, but she was like an old lady. Didn't have any resemblance to any of the actual characters. And, uh, you eventually find your little buddy in the goop, like the, just like how Hopper was in the, the goop, whatever the vines surrounded, you pull him out and then he comes back. And so like you rescue him, but that was just, that was weird that it was, it was like, I mean, clearly they must've licensed it because they used the theme song and the font, which I assume would be copyrighted or trademarked or something. I would think so. Plus, they basically stole the entire plot idea. Of three, so it's like yes, yep. Hmm. But th- but didn't have the actual characters or the actual settings, just like like ripoffs of them. Weird. Like really, that's weird. <laughs> Genuinely weird. <laughs> huh. I'll have to check that. I don't think that one's on. Is that one on no. Game Pass yet? I don't think so. No. I think I've got five on that one. I doubt they're going to put that on Game Pass. Five's up there now, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I'm but the next that's box. been out for years and years and years. That was like 2015, 16, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I did play uh, the, or, or was playing the demo for, what was it, the Signal? The uh, Signal. Like, oh. So, Graphite. Better. That little dog also has kind of an adorable power where you can, uh, like, usually, you know, with your computer buddies, you can tag an enemy and they'll attack them. So if the enemy is unalerted, so if the enemy is alerted, then he'll go attack them. But if they're unalerted, then he just, like, wheels up and, like, looks at them and they're like, oh, and, like, they, they bend over and, like, pet him and whatever. Then you sneak up and knock them off and that's the thing and you actually get like there's challenges to be like use and his name is chorizo use chorizo's uh uh distract ability 20 times on enemies or whatever and it's like it, it's just funny to see that because you're like all right go send go go get him and he wheels out there and it's like hey oh buddy and then you just go up and knife him from behind <laughs> that's cute that is that's like quintessential whenever i get guy. a dog again i'm gonna try to Break that kind of an angle. Break its uh, legs or something or what? No, no, just, I mean, I can just build a little car. He can fake it. That's all part of the, all part of the grift. Like I'll call him grift. <laughs> See if anyone picks up. Grifty, <laughs> grifty, where'd you go? That would be good. Grifty McMark. Uh, the Signal State, that's what it is. It's on Steam. Um, but they have a playable demo. It's kind of fun. You get to uh, 
sort of build circuits and run them through a mixer board to make the make the technology work again. The plot sounds a little iffy, but what is the uh, what's the, the game called? The Signal State. The first few levels were fun. Signal State. Oh. I don't think I've, I don't think I've heard of that. Uh, it's. I just saw it. Uh, one of the streamers I watch occasionally mentioned it. Been out for a year. It looks like one of those things I could probably get on a humble bundle or something like that for uh, next to nothing, or even one of their monthly ones. So you use uh, synthesizers and effects pedals to rebuild a farm? Yes, it doesn't really make a lot of sense in that regard. Um, nope. But, but, the, but the puzzles and stuff seem to be kind of fun. Like what's What's an example of a puzzle? Like you got to make uh, a thing pulse at a certain rate and yeah, like hit a certain frequency or whatever, and then figure out what combination of math is going to make the signal do what you need to do. Basically, or also uh, learn how to use a synthesizer because that's what that's what they are. I think it's less of the latter, but I mean it does teach you the basics anyway. Um, the the demo uh, video on it is pretty tempting. It's like, oh, here's a square wave at this frequency, and then here's a delay, and here's a amplifier, here's a whatever. I don't know what it would be. I'm out of fancy words. I mean, you weren't really that far off. <laughs> I Part of me really can't wait for Factorio. But then the other part of me is like, I, I need to do literally anything else for you know, maybe a couple hours a day. Like, Charlie has been going ballistic because I'm not playing with him. Um, I would start up another Factorial server um, and do multiplayer any day. Yeah, that's part of one of the things I'm kind of interested in. I mean, I want to play it first to understand, like, what the fuck's going on. But, um, yeah, that's something that I'm interested in. Because if we did multiplayer then, I would be very interested in doing some of the overhaul mods. Where we can assign tasks and not have to slog through everything individually. Man, I, for like, I don't know, probably since Saturday or probably Sunday... I've been uh, meaning to shower. Oh shit, I did the wrong one. Is that going to be a problem? I suspect that's going to be a problem. We'll see. I've been meaning to do electromagnetic rings and I keep forgetting. But just I'm, I'm hooking them up now. I just got to remember where I put the other thing. Yeah, those get gobbled down quite quickly unless they've changed the balance significantly in the last year that I haven't played, but you're going to want some generous lines on that one. I decided that, I mean, if uh, I'll try to figure out how to make certain things efficient, but I'm not expecting to do that full bore until I play again because just the idea... I mean, so part of, so I'm trying to figure out now, I'm trying to decide between do I restart or do I just start tearing stuff down and rebuilding it? Because if I restart, I'm there's nothing. I'm going to show up and have, you know, nothing to... See, the part I'm not interested in is the efficiency design. I'll go for efficiency, but I don't want to have to lay everything out. I don't want to do that part. <laughs> so that's where I use blueprints. Um, I assume by now that they have 
a better uh, blueprint website repository thing. But when they added blueprints to it, that was the game changer because now it's like, oh, okay, I need I need another uh, another plant for doing magnets or something. So then I just open up the blueprint, plop that thing down. I still have to build all the equipment for it. So I don't consider it cheating, but I don't have to do all the thinking. Um, I still have to find the resources and do all the uh, uh, backhaul stuff to, to get the stuff into production. But I think that's the fun part for me. So uh, then I, so I use blueprints um, and then it takes care of all the general planning. It's like, okay, I need X number of magnet plants. Um, so I can just throw that down. I need the next thing, the next thing. And then all you do is just build the buildings, let the robots do the deployments. Let the robots do the deployments. What does that mean? Um, well, there was some kind of a construction bot or something, I thought. Maybe not. Because I would die to do that. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, obviously I can build the buildings, right? Like, I'm, In, I'm building well, maybe I'm, Oh, maybe I'm, no, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there isn't. I thought there was. Well, I don't want you to be wrong. So please don't be wrong. Trying to I, get enough magnets. I, mean, I guess out if here. you I guess if you haven't found them yet, then maybe there aren't. Well, I mean I still have some stuff to unlock in the tech tree, and even the stuff I have unlocked so far, I haven't gotten to all of it. So um I don't Yeah, I don't think. Maybe when you get blueprints and they're unlocked. I don't remember when those come into play. I don't remember if those are unlockable or if they're built in automatically. All right. So I've got some planetary logistics stations around. Um, I'm shipping in iron, titanium, and silicon from that lava planet. Yes. I have to do this whole accumulator thing so I can start getting the... Um, Orbital, or, what, orbital, what is that called? Or asteroid. I don't like the fact that this is going so slow. What has happened to my yellows? Problem is I gotta try to find them on the map and that's not a particularly easy thing to do. What the fuck is this, frame material? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Know. What the fuck is... Where did all this shit come from? Oh my god. What was I... What was I needing these super magnetic fuckos for? What was I needing those little fuckos for? Oh! I think it's so I can upgrade to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can get to the fast conveyor belt now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need those green conveyor belts. And somewhere I have, what is it called, graphene or something? Whatever the fuck. Man, when I, last night when I was setting up the um, ILS, like the interstellar station on both planets, dude, that was a bitch. <laughs> like... I had to put down so many ge ge uh, what is it, geothermal power plants, like mm -hmm. many. And I, I, I think I put down 30 additional on the lava planet. Um, and I probably put at least that down all over the place here. Because like, I'm trying to create a power grid here that like covers the entire planet.
the cylinder is like a big coal place, I'll hook it up and convert it to graph electric. What is it called? The magnetic graphite or energetic graphite or something. And then burn that. And then now I've got hydrogen between the logistics stations, so I can use hydrogen to to power the plants, which has basically made it so I no longer have power issues. But I just don't really know what to do next, you know? I don't either. I probably should go to another planet. Start trucking shit in from there. I have the interstellar logistics station and planetary logistics stations both automated. It's slow as balls, but that's better than, like, I can do literally anything else and then come back and I have some, you know, so. Yeah, it's slow, but it's not, I don't care that it's slow. I wish there was a way to mass update your, your, the, the, what are those things called, sorters? Yep. Probably don't need more than like a hundred of these interstellar logistics stations. I could probably slow that shit right down. I'll go to that out, outer planet. It doesn't really seem like oil exists anywhere else. Kind of a problem there. Not a not a big fan of that. Um, yeah, some of the logic has those things only on certain planets, like Pizza Planet. I miss Pizza Planet. All right, C. Oh, I'm glad I looked. So I'm going quite a bit further this time. I have thermal. I have. Smelters, I have one of those little bastards, those. I need sorters, not sorters, splitters. I definitely can see the value now that I've been playing so long in the, uh, what is it called, the boss situation? Yeah. Definitely see it. It's just, you know, get 20, 30, 40 lines going. And then all you got to worry about is just like extending factories. Which, I mean, to be fair, I didn't need that when it came to some of this stuff, right? Like the. the yeah, but the key is that you have to calculate uh, belt throughput too. Yeah, yeah, you do. Because otherwise, the ones at the ends never get anything. They sure do. And they sure don't. I'm going to take me some solar power as well, but I need some. whatever that graphite bullshit is. And go to the frozen tundra plant and hope I can get back. 
I have experienced uh, what it's like to run out of charge when you're when you're flying in space, though. Like I had fuel, but I used all my energy, so I had a I'm trying to turn and stuff was not what I'd consider a particularly fun experience. All right, so I've got those. Got one, two, three. Got 1,200 of those. 100 of those, 70 of those, 40 of those. All right. And there's probably like a time that you're supposed to go to planets, right? Like to be efficient as opposed to Um, oh shit. Sometimes I'm trying to get off the planet, it's a bitch. It's like, I'm supposed to be able to hit W and everything, but like, here I am just going around in circles on the fucking planet, and I can't get off of it. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. But I'm heading to Jabba 4. It's a small planet, so... Landing is not guaranteed. But I'm gonna slam into that motherfucker at a very fast rate of speed. And so Factorio is a similar thing. You have like a tech tree and you have stuff you have to build by hand and then automate and all that shit, right? Yeah. That's just more of this, but maybe more uh, efficient, performant. Although honestly, I don't really think this is not performant. Oh, it's coming in view. It's a big white ball of shit. I'm gonna, gonna have to get to... going. I gotta uh, take my daughter to middle school orientation tonight. Ooh, fun. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'd say it's fun. People. It's something. That I'll agree with for sure. It is something. All right. Well, catch you guys in a bit. See you yep. later. See ya. Bye. I got to find a way to get hydrogen to this planet now. Huh. Didn't you say that there's like a hilly planet or something that you can you can get soil from? Uh, two of those volcanic ones. Oh, uh, I can get soil. I mean, I, I, it just seemed like rocks to me, like a bunch of rocks. Yeah, you have to level those things. Oh, I'll have to try that. I thought by leveling it, I would just you know like just get rocks. Didn't think it would do anything else. Pretty sure it all backfills in soil. This planet has a shitload of silicon, but it has no way to generate power. And I don't think you can get enough wind turbines to to do that. So I guess first off, let me try that. I'm going to put down an intergalactic whatever the fuck, right? Oh, actually, my... At the, uh, at this thing. I'm at the pool. That's cool. Yeah. All right.
I need to get a blueprint for putting down solar, or not solar, what is things called? The wind turbines. Because that fucking blows doing that one little wind turbine at a time. Yes, those uh, are especially useful with blueprints. No, there are definitely boss. Maybe it was a mod. I wonder if it was a mod for that. Oh, that would be... I should look... I'm, like I said, I was trying not to do mods, but that didn't work, so... Who am I trying to... Who am I trying to kid? Two, four, six, seven... Two, four, six, eight, nine. So that's 16. I have to do five times that many. Oh, fuck. And that's just to get this little bitch to, to work. But I just need it for a little bit so I can get hydrogen over here. I mean, you can't burn iron and shit, right? Like, I'd have to... I'm not confused here, am I? Like, I... I... This planet has no coal or oil. So, like, I don't know what else I can burn. I don't know if silicon will do that or not. Oh my god, dude. I don't have enough. Not even close to enough. Fuck. And Factorio's local. Yeah. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Power progression, because like, it would be nice if I could. Um, burn something that's on this planet. Absolutely cannot. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I'm using all my power, too, from... Just trying to plant this shit, which I don't have a way back home if I burn it all. Where am I at now? I'm at 19. How, how low can this little bastard go? Boom, down to 30. <laughs> Remote demand. Oh shit, I just set it up for remote demand and it's coming. I didn't realize I did that already. Fuck yeah. Alright, I'll wait for those to show up. I got 400 inbound. I mean, I don't know who made this game, but damn, dude, they they thought about a lot of things. Yeah, it's all done. I would say so. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
it's gonna be funny when I realize I don't have any fucking, uh, I don't have enough of these belts to do what I need to do. And by funny, I mean I'm gonna cry. Collab with another object? What other object is it gonna collide with? Holy fuck. Okay. Ooh, I got the hydrogen. So, let's then try to fill the rest of this by So confused. Whatever. I was just trying to like, I don't know. I'm at the pole. Poles suck. Is there a curvature thing going on at the, uh, on whatever that fucking game's called? The other one's called? No. Thank God. <laughs> I hear people complaining about the fact that you have like this little guy you gotta move around on, but I don't understand why that's such a thing that pisses people off. I'm probably going to need some of these, right? Oops. I want to try out Factorio, but I just, it's like, do I want to stop playing? Not when I'm, you know, like, am I, I'm not done, you know, I don't, I haven't done the stuff that you do to be done with the game. Well, yeah, if you haven't built a sphere, then there's no point in stopping. I just don't know how far, I'm, 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 I'm pretty far away from a sphere, unfortunately, I think. And I probably wouldn't be so far away if I knew how to build shit. Because frankly, that's the most attractive part of the game, really. I mean, it is the uh, one of those. Well, I mean, game. yeah, I know, but it's like it's it's one of those things where I mean, once it starts to fire off and take shape, I mean, it's just stunning. It really is. Visually, that game did. Just an amazing job. Yeah, I do like how it looks. I do, I do, I do. Really do. Oh man, I forgot logistics vessels. I'm such a dick. God damn it. 
have to come back just for that? That is ridiculous, man. What what is what's my problem? I always like the last few times I've left planet I've forgotten something. That's not like a terribly fun thing to do. This. I need to try to figure out how to make an advanced miner too. Oh, I don't, I don't think those were around when I stopped. They uh, are supposed to be faster. I guess, I mean, that, admittedly, I'd hope that would be true. Kind of nuts how quickly you can like saturate um, like you, you can set up two you can set up two miners with you know seven eight nine things each and um, It still isn't like enough. Try it again. So this goes out, out, out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, more silicons available. I'm really pissed that I didn't bring logistical vessels. They're back home being made and I I didn't I didn't bring any. I doubt I have Actually. Any. <clears throat> Oh shit, I have I have on me enough to make four. Alright, it's better than nothing. Let's do it. I don't really want the uh 
Because I'm assuming you want to have multiple interstellar stations per planet, right? Because otherwise you split cargo too much. Uh, it's usually you're limited to the number of slots. So once you outgrow that, yeah, you're going to need more. Fourth one, baby. Fuck you, go. There you are. Hey, I didn't lose power. Let me see if I'm how bad it is. Oh, shit, yeah, I'm good. And you can warp yourself eventually, right? You don't have to do all this bullshit back and forth. Mm -hmm. So these solar sails, you shoot these out of these cannons and then they last for almost 10 minutes. Is that what it's, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. And does it, it doesn't really tell you what are you serious right now? It doesn't tell you like how much power it collects or what it does with it or anything. Uh, it sure is calculated value. Well, I mean, like when I hover over a thermal building, it'll say it puts out 2.16 megawatts. When I hover over this, it doesn't say anything. But I can put these over a planet, right? Because I was seeing someone shoot these out. Or is this only going to work if it's above a star? Well, yeah, you have to aim it at a star. I'll hoping that would be a way to give more energy faster. I don't really know how to do that then. It's really know how to do that then. Which kind of sucks. Because I don't really get energy very... Like, there's no efficient way right now to get energy. This way, right? Yes, I do. I was doing really good with research, but it seems like it's something's happened. Cause I'm going super slow now. I don't know why.
so cool seeing those um, vessels and stuff flying in. Doubled the silicon output. Let's see if that does anything. Tell you what, when you couldn't fly around, that fucking sucked. You know what I mean? Like, until you unlocked flying, the game was so big. Like, it was too big. Oh yeah. I got enough going through now. Good, good, good. See that V no nope. V Where's home? Damn, dude. I am much further away from home here than I was before. It's right there, though. I feel like warping is basically this game is going to be enormous until I can warp. Yeah, it's not feasible otherwise. But I am looking forward to exploring other um, solar systems. Well, yeah, for sure. I just visited the second planet in my solar system for the first time just now. I was driving by my that gas giant and it was just like, nope, you're you're not you're not getting past us. You're too close. And I spun around that for a while before I figured out how to break free from it. Nope, see right there, it just did it. I'm gonna miss Earth or whatever this play. Okay, good, I made it. Whew, sucked me in last second, that was dangerous. That was freaking me out. I don't think this is interstellar. Nope, that's planetary. Wait. What? Something needed more silicon, and I don't remember what that was. Processors? Ah, yes. Semiconductors. Hmm. 
I see, I see, I see. I thought you could reverse the order of it by hitting R. about that. I mean, it's like in the thing. Huh. Doesn't mean I'm sure about it. Hmm? Doesn't mean I'm sure about it. It should. I don't know what possessed me to try this game, but I, I'm I don't I'm not happy that I did. What? What are you doing over there? Hard shit breaker or whatever this thing is. Oh, now do you progress in that? Like, do you do stuff that? Uh, originally, you were supposed to pay off some debt or something, but I guess they, I don't know if they changed or not. It's getting a little less fun as the ships don't seem to really change. It's kind of boring now. Well, hooking that interstellar whatever the fuck up. Uh, Oops. Definitely helped that problem. I don't get what's going on. How do you, how do you, there we go. They really did think of a lot of, like a lot. They put a lot of thought into the detail and everything in this. And not necessarily, I mean, it is super deep, but just like, they found really simple ways to solve what would otherwise be pretty complicated. Mm -hmm. They're bitch about semi bitch about not having enough now, motherfucker. Yeah. You shit. I am, I am shitting processors out now. Hot damn. I mean, I still need to shit out a lot more, but I just, I don't know, like, more than doubled my output. And at this point now, it's just making more factories. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. It's like two to one. So that's what I don't understand. Like it says you need to have two things to make something else. And so I would think, well, I need twice, I need to create twice as many things. The semiconductors, I have to make twice as many semiconductors as I do processors. So I make a six pro six plant factory for processors. Wouldn't I need 12 for this thing, for the semiconductors? And yet the 12 
I don't understand. What is going on? What is happening? Is it because these take forever? How long does it take? Oh. Maybe that's why. Because, like, it's waiting. I mean, it, copper and silicon are waiting. And it's not shitting them out very quick. So if I were to look at making an assembler upgrade, what does that take? Processors. Very good. Okay. Good. Processors and... Ooh, graphene. I've been storing that shit up for a while. I haven't used any of it. It was also would be nice to know before you play, well, if you're going to do it, you know, like, correctly, that um, like what are the most common components so that you can really prioritize what you need to prioritize. Obviously, like, circuits and stuff became pretty obvious early on, but once you get past that, I don't really know... You know, where, um, I don't really know where it goes after that. Like, what, what, is, what becomes the most common next thing? I don't know. Is this, oh shit, I'm already shitting graphene out. Are you kidding me? Where's it going? Where's my mall? Oh wow, my mall is nowhere fucking near this. But, it's alright. That's alright. Because, I can just pump this shit to uh, this guy. have them come out here. Oh my god, I thought that through and didn't even know it. Isn't that, I love that when that happens. When like two days ago, you you plan something. But I mean, you, you smoke, you smoke weed, so you, you get this. <laughs> like two days ago, you plan something. And then obviously it's a rabbit hole, so... You start planning it, and you're like, oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need to fix this. And so you do 300 things across two days, and then you think for the first time you remember, hey, I need to do something, right? And then you go to do it, and then you discover you already did it, <laughs> or like you're, you're, you're really close to doing it. And all the steps you just took that you forgot about were to make that possible. I love that feeling. And these planetary bitches are going to be a game changer, quite literally. I wonder where everybody else is. So, have you played Factorio multiplayer? I can't remember if you said you did. Yeah, but not much. Is it literally just two people with the exact same abilities, or how does it work? Your teams, you can do enemies, it doesn't either way.
I mean, like, so you and I play. Mm -hmm. Do we both have the exact same ability to do everything? So, like, I can research, you can research, I can build, destroy, upgrade, you can build, destroy, like, are we both doing the exact same thing on the exact same map? And so it takes coordination and it basically just makes it easier because two people can be working on something at once. Yeah. But is that really what it is? Okay. Okay. So I got to get processors over here. I think processors just were next to this guy. That's my inner stellar one. I thought, hey, you know, you're going to put these enormous things, like these planetary things up, and it's going to make it easier to find shit, but it actually, it doesn't. They just see it and you're like, oh, that's not the one. Oh, that's not the one. Oh, that's not the one. So I got to get graphene over here. I'm going to need another planetary thing. Is it weird to put them side by side? No, because of what you're trying to do. Well, I need magnets and circuits to become more readily available across the map. And then in addition to that, I where they are obviously being used is around the mall area. And I want to um, make the advanced assemblers over there. So I need to have a slot for graphene and a slot for processors. And I only have one free in that guy. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to. But I'm seeing these like blueprints and stuff online and the shit like how compacted they make it it's, it's bizarre that's why I don't bother fuck it I'm not gonna bother I'm not gonna waste my time doing that yeah I don't really think the compact thing because I I mean yeah early on well I mean space has never has never really been an issue I guess at all I could see where maybe early on it can be problematic but I I don't I don't know I don't think um, there's really a space problem I guess so why would you need to make it so compact So, coming out of here, we're going to have... Oh, shit, it's raining. Yep. Is it? I did not know. But I don't necessarily know what day it is. So, I, uh, I don't think that matters as much as I'd like. Give me an assembler. So there's one assembler, and there's two assembler. And there is storage and storage. We are making advanced assemblers. But it's going to be a minute before we succeed in doing so. So, I need to have 
one in, one in, one in, one in, one out, one in, one in, one out. Okay. Graphene and processors are now waiting. I need to go get some drones. Where did I put those sons of bitches? I do not know. It's back here. Man, the, uh, the, I, I was, I was sleeping on the liquid storage tanks for a very long time. But then, I, I finally had to switch one out, and, uh, huh. That's fucked up, man, how much more, you know, you can, you can make there. Oh, dick, yo. Or how much more you can store. It's like, what, 20 times 30, so 600 to 10,000. Pretty bizarre. I walked away. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's fine. I did not know you walked away. Yeah, I had to drive the lawnmower inside. Hmm. That's why it mattered to, that it's it's out it's doing its thing out there. It's because you had something outside. There it is, God, finally. Wait, that's not what I wanted. How many of these planetary fucking things do I have down, man? Son of a bitch. I just need the one I need. I don't I don't need all this other bullshit. Oh my god, trying to find stuff is so annoying. There, there they are, okay. Maybe we can play uh, Factorio this weekend or something. Maybe we can. I, mean, I won't be done with this game, but I probably could take a break. Oh, that's so close. It almost does what I need. Oh, no, wait, it actually does. Wow, I am fucking weird, man. Okay, processors. And I'm in supply of those. Processors just suck to make. But I think I'm going to fix the problem here.
shortly. All right, now I gotta find my graphene. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. Come on, get up here if you want to. Just shut up. Oh, shit. Buddy, come on, get up. I gotta figure out what I'm doing for dinner. I might be putting another planetary thing down. Because I can't take anything else away. And this game gets wild. Have you started thinking about getting a dog? I consider it. I find one. What are you looking for? Bass and hound. Or something along those lines. Are you checking anywhere? Occasionally. God damn it, cat. Jesus. All right, now the, down, now the problem is that when you switch to planetary, you can't follow conveyor belts to see where shit is anymore. Oh, god damn it. I don't know where anything is. I, I can't find a mod that does that either, where it makes it really obvious what something is. Because I would just do, you know, like, a uh, mall. Just, just a gigantic thing that says mall. It's a blueprint. No, no, I'm saying so I can just be flying and I can see over the horizon a gigantic thing that, that, that indicates what it is so that I know am I going right, left, straight, do I turn around? You know, because I, 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 I don't know. I don't have a fucking clue where I set stuff up. So I'm just flying in circles right now. Alright, I see. I think I found something I, I'm, I can recognize. So now the question is, is it working? I have, uh, I have replicators that I don't think I understand. 
Oh, it's waiting for... Well, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's waiting for my replicators. We're about to find out just how effective um, these faster replicators are. Because they need more processors. Here I am, just flying in fucking circles. There we go. Hmm. Oh shit, I have more to upgrade. It, uh, it's speeding up though. Not, not too much though, unfortunately.
I'll say another thing about the game that can kind of be frustrating at times is that it doesn't tell you certain things that it can do. And so you discover later on that if you just push this button, 77 clicks no longer are necessary. Right. That's like, good God, you could have said that anywhere else. Or just, just anywhere, period. Well, I'm at least generating 20, 40, 60, 80... Right, 120 per minute, so I guess two per second. That's not that's not happening. That's not happening. These are waiting. Oh my god, to saturate this belt, I would need 30 more of these goddamn things. Which would mean I need 60 more of the semiconductors, and I don't have enough coming in to do that.
What keeps happening to the generation power? Like, what the fuck? I'm just trying to keep fucking lights on over here. <clears throat> this is not doing it. More no fuel, huh? From hydrogen? What? How? All right, I'm gonna go. I gotta get some food. All right, man. Talk to you later. Like I said, honey, when you only meow exclusively all day, every day, forever and ever, I don't care. I just don't care. That's your fault for just being an absolute asshole. Shut up! God. Damn it. Fuck you. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go play with you to start meowing. It, it, what, what do you want me to do? Huh? What do you want me to do?
There's a reinforced thruster in here. Get out of here! Jesus Christ! Shut up! Shut your fucking mouth! Get out of here and shut the fuck up! Stop for a while. I don't, it's, there's so much to do. 